Amen. Hello, Kenyans. We thank God for His goodness and mercy and His kindness in our generation. Uh, let nobody panic by whoever wants to introduce the mosquitoes and whatever they want to introduce. Let those things, uh, whatever anybody want to introduce, even if they want to introduce birds and chicken, let them, anybody in the world, let them introduce uh, what they want to introduce. I've always told, particularly the church of Yeshua, uh, that uh, the kingdom of darkness uh, does not know any other thing to do. So they are busy introducing the things of their kingdom. They are busy perpetrating you know, the agenda of their kingdom. They are busy doing what they are supposed to do. So we should not give our airtime to that or concentrate about them. Our concentration is how Yeshua is doing it in the gospel. He focused on the business of his father. He's, at the age of 12, he's telling the parents, don't you know I'm about, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be about my father's business. That is it. And in the book of John, he's saying, I have food that you don't know of. My food is to do the will of the one who sent me and to finish his work. Hallelujah. So our focus, uh, Hebrew chapter 12 and verse 2, focusing unto him and to Yeshua, the elder and the finisher of our faith. So the kingdom of darkness, will, uh, they are burning midnight oil to do uh, what they are, they are supposed to do according to their kingdom and on the other hand let our focus our energy and our concentration be on what our kingdom is doing in the now hallelujah uh, let me tell you god will preserve us god will protect us uh, and god will you know god will protect his people god will preserve us hallelujah so there is uh, no cause for Aram to them that are in christ jesus actually the bible says my goodness hallelujah there is no condemnation you know if you look at that scripture for us who are in the Christ Jesus there is no condemnation you know that means there is a seclusion that you know that has happened to us because we are in Christ you know there is a setting apart hallelujah so let them do this is what we are seeing we shall enjoy what Isaac is enjoying as a seed of the promise in Genesis chapter 26 as long as you are where God wants you to be as long as you are doing what God wants you to, to do the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy you know Yes, if you look at that, you no, know, that, that in the book of Deuteronomy, beginning even from chapter one, do the Bible study. God will always demarcate, into demarcate, and uh, it, it came to Moses, and God is telling Moses, "My presence will go with you, and I'll make you people, the children of Israel, you know, the, the nation of Israel will be distinct because my presence. This is what will bring a distinction between you and other nations. So be a carrier." Be a carrier of his presence. Remain, abide in him. Stay where you are supposed to stay. Stay in him. Walk in him. Walk with him. You know, on Sunday last Sunday, the Lord woke me up and he told me, "You are not. You are, my, you know, my people are not working for me. They are work. They are working and working with me. We are co-workers. We are co-laborers. So we are doing it in conjunction with him. Hallelujah! And it's such a blessing to us. So let's. Um, we we are and you know we are, we are in days where the word of God says the just shall live by faith. So today I came as I came to church this morning, uh, and the spirit of God was telling me we shall we shall begin being translated. You are here and you are in Ethiopia. You know they 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 close their borders where you are supposed to be ministerly. You know we shall be translated. Number two, the Lord has told me it is a season of the supernatural. It is a season of the supernatural. We shall operate high above the standards of men, high above the uh, the other authorities. We shall operate. But God has come to cause his remnant to operate and to live higher above the operations and the, limitation, uh, the limitations of men in this generation. Hallelujah. So let us focus right. I came on board. Uh, we had prayers for the nation yesterday. And I just want to give a summary. And uh, as I do this, um, for those who are praying for the country, I want us to know that blessed are the people. Blessed is the nation that Yeshua is their God. Blessed is the nation of Kenya because Jehovah God is our God. We have the backup of his word. So as we are entering, uh, we already there, today's 1st of September, the nation of Kenya, um, 
uh, you are going to see this. God is introducing the nation into his new. From this September going down, God is introducing the nation to his new. That means, my brethren, what you are going to begin to see because of the prophetic word that is in the Atimosu that I'm telling you, um, Kaidre, don't consider, don't be ignorant. The Bible says that we should not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy, but then we don't give it our whole airtime, our whole energy. We should not be ignorant. Look at what is happening in Babylon. The kingdom of Babylon, they are doing whatever they are supposed to do, but Daniel is doing what he knows to do about his kingdom. Hallelujah. This is what we are seeing with Joseph in Egypt. There is what the kind of a lifestyle that is there. But what do we see? I cannot see it against the Lord my God. I have a lifestyle. I am in Egypt, but I have a lifestyle in the Lord. Hallelujah. But uh, Daniel, the, the three Hebrew boys are showing the Babylonians, including the king there, that we are here, but we have a lifestyle. That's why I came to remind us this morning that we are sojourners. We are on a pilgrimage. Hallelujah. We are on a move. That is a move of our kingdom in the name of the Lord. So let our, let our focus and our concentration be on the one who began the good work in us because he knows we are by the way before Yeshua went back he's telling the disciples I will not leave you nor forsake you I'm going to be with you to the cross of the age so the Lord is together with us and he knows we are here so no matter what they are going to introduce no matter what they want to bring let them even bring lions whatever they want to bring <laughs> whatever anybody wants to bring we told us uh, some years back that we have entered into a season of biochemistry chemicals so human bodies there are people who are going to labor mm. to control humanity with chemicals you know chemicals and we are in a season of technology the word of god says in the book of daniel chapter 12 you know when we can i mean when the knowledge is increasing because it, we are in that season we are not saying that we are not saying then that in, in knowledge will increase we are there we are in those chapters now as the knowledge is increasing that is how the wickedness is increasing but on the other hand if you look at that chapter you see god is purging us he's purifying us us. Hallelujah. And he's sanctifying us. So let them do what that the knowledge increase and the wickedness. On the other hand, there is what God is doing for the sake of the remnants of his people. Hallelujah. So God has uh, uh, begun the process of introducing the nation into his new into his new hallelujah and uh, in your own time you can read the word of god because i'm just passing this word for the sake of those who are praying for the country uh is that chapter 14 2 verse 8 and 9 jehovah god is still introducing himself as god hallelujah i am he hallelujah. besides me there is no any other before god is, does the new he's already declared he has already declared it to us we have the prophetic word over the country of kenya so in at the moment right now the nation is pregnant with with God's time. The nation is pregnant with God's time. And I want to say that the nation is not delayed. We cannot say that uh, Hannah being the first wife of Ericana, that because uh, she never gave birth to children, you know, earlier, we cannot say that she was delayed. Now, I want to say the revival of Kenya is not delayed. Nothing, nothing nothing about kenya is delayed nothing about the nation of kenya is delayed. the nation is now pregnant with the time of god we cannot say that because the children of israel stayed in egypt for 430 years we cannot say they were delayed i know god had spoken to abraham about uh 400 years but they started with that years now god was preparing moses because if god had found a, another person to say it according to his program maybe he would have done it at that 400 years but then the, that within the 30 years god has prepared a moses for them so nothing about the agenda of god for the nation of kenya is read the nation of kenya is not delayed god has been preparing our people god has been preparing a generation god has been preparing an army hallelujah for this assignment of the revival and i want each one of us to know it is him who is doing this hallelujah so the nation is being healed hosea chapter 6 verse 1 to 3 the nation of Kenya is being healed, where the nation has been hurt by, 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 by even from 1963 and uh, during colonialism, where the nation has been hurt, where the nation has been wounded, where the farmers, the sugarcane farmers, and, and all the, the, the coffee farmers and the, the dairy farmers, where the nation has been wounded by the, the corruption.
nation and the, the evil politician. God is healing the nation. God is healing the nation. Number two, God is reviving the country. This is purely the operation of God. He is, uh, you know, uh, reviving the nation. God is also causing uh, a recovery. And as God is doing that, he's also on the other hand dealing with the enemies of his of his uh, of his word in this nation and i want to uh, to release a word that you know i had uh, you know that that is that is a part of my life too god is not with the enemies of the nation of kenya god is with the nation of kenya hallelujah god is not with our enemies god is with the nation of kenya and blessed is the nation of kenya because jehovah is our god hallelujah so three things are i mean four things are happening there is uh, the the healing that is already going on and uh, in this you're going to see uh pyrethrum i could hear pyrethrum i, I could hear si uh, siso farmers uh, you know i could hear cocoa i could hear cocoa i could hear uh cotton uh, you know there's going to be a revival the nation of kenya is being restored back to the originality so that she can uh, pursue the purpose of god in our now for the glory and honor of the name of the lord so we are going to see daily farmers rejoice again we are going to see let me tell you the farming the kind of farming that is because kenya will feed the nations so god is doing that nobody even if they try to to introduce their gmo kenya you know god has taken over the nation of kenya and god is introducing the nation from this september to his new and the nation is already pregnant with the season of god in the now in the name of yeshua hamashiach hallelujah so let 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 let, let the people i was telling the church yesterday the people who gathered with me to pray anybody called for something and if God drops into you something kaidre as God is causing Isaac to excel in a season of family kaidre write it down if it's not at night sleep with your notebook write it down in the morning begin implementing that because let me tell you it is time for the hard over the wicked have been piling the world for the sake of the righteous so God is rightly positioning us for a takeover and for a handover for a takeover and for a handover and three things are happening right now that some of us are comfortable in some places where our destinies are not connected because the season we are in is about the eternal purposes of God so you are going to see God is going to stress us you know to stress uh, to stretch to stretching not the stressing stretching some of us out hallelujah so there's a stretching out there's a stretching number two uh, some of us are going to be uh, to, to you know to encounter some shakeups, the turbulences, and God is very good in that. From Genesis all the way to Revelation, any time you know God wanted to perfect His agenda, what you saw is some divine commotion, you know, some some uh, some some shakeups. Hallelujah! Look at Babylon, look at Egypt, look at uh, Mordecai, and all that. You know, there, there are some turbulences here and there. Hallelujah! So there is a stretching, there is a, a, a shaking, and then after that. And I'm being taken to the word of God in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37. There was a, a shaking, there was a rattling. Then at the end of the day, you know, in, the, in that commotion, bones are coming back together. Hallelujah. And number number three, there's going to be a shaping. There's going to be a shaping. God is giving us, you know, that preordained shape. That, that's where the latter glory is. The Bible says the latter glory shall be greater than the former. So that is where, that is where Romans 8 and verse 19, the Christian is waiting for our manifestation. Now, this is the time we shall be manifested when we have attained the full stature of the son of god you know our firstborn brother our elder brother yeshua Mashiach. hallelujah our messiah amen that is where we are so there's a stretching there's a shaking and there is a shaping hallelujah that's that's what the lord is doing in this hour so uh the other thing you are going to see in the nation of kenya we have said this before i'm just reading the summary of the prayers yesterday that, that god is serving justice and god is revisiting errors and recalling collecting them god is going to serve let me tell you even in areas where even in the nuclear families uncles aunties and i've said this before and even i said this i said it in the morning anybody who is holding including where we have not paid the house girls where we have not paid the laborers even in our farms and everywhere god is revisiting matters and god is serving justice justice in this nation it will be so scary there are people who are going to be dis disabled they will not live their houses they have the money they try to go hospitals locally and internationally nothing will work 
God is revisiting matters. God is serving justice. It is going to be so scary. In some quarters, it's going to be so scary. God, let me tell you, I told you there are some documents that will be revoked. Even there are some church lads in quotes that were given some years back. Documents will be revoked. You're going to, to see such a massive operation. And when you see this, because we are going to, to have uh, court corridors activities more than ever before. Let me prepare judges and magistrates in the nation of Kenya. And God is about to make you too busy in this season as he's serving justice in this country. And God is raising a breed that will not be compromised, that will not be bright because there is too much corruption in this nation. God is raising a breed that will not be compromised. So God is a virgin for the nation. God is avenging for the nation of Kenya where she has been hurt. God is avenging for the nation. God is serving justice. God is healing the nation. God is also avenging for the nation of Kenya. That was very clear in the spirit uh, where the nation has been hurt. Those of you seated in the seats of authority and you have signed memorandum of association even outside Kenya with some, some nations, with some globalists, you know, because you know because of what you want. You have even taken the nation through debts and whatever pain you have taken the nation those of you who signed some of these documents about LGBTQ, let me tell you, God is avenging for his nation. God is avenging you magistrates, you judges, you government officials from state house going down. God is avenging for his nation. Anybody who has hurt the nation of Kenya, trying to divert her from the purpose of God, according to the prophetic word that is already in the atmosphere, God is avenging for the nation. And let me tell you, where she has been wounded, where she has been hurt, where she has been messed up etc all those god is avenging for her and god is restoring the nation of kenya back to the preordained purpose according to his uh, uh his agenda in the name of the lord hallelujah so uh the other thing you're going to see is that the nation has been delivered the nation of kenya has been delivered from the path of pain from the path of agony from the path, uh, path of mess from the path of disorganization and this is what you're going to see god is raising new voices god has been preparing a people for himself hallelujah so the time has come when you hear god say the nation is pregnant with his season now on all his time that is it now god is about to bring forth new faces in politics new faces in a in the church new voices that is a kind of an operation let me tell you and then nobody can fight this nobody can stop this because it is within the pregnancy of time that the nation is in in the name of the lord hallelujah and that the destiny of the nation of kenya is in the lord and god will perform affect that which he said. But let me tell you what God has said concerning Kenya has not been transferred to other nations. The nation of Kenya will become and should attain that glory for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. So God has brought the nation to a moment of shaking. God has brought the nation into a moment of shaking. We are going to see shakers. I've been saying even the ruling party there's going to be a crumbling. There's going to be a disorganization. There's going to be, you are going to, to hear hate. You are, let me tell you kingdoms of men are being shaken. The, those foundations are crumbling down. And let me tell you, whatever has been raised by men, and that's why the Lord has been talking in quotes about the Tower of Babel. Let me tell you, you are going to see a crumbling down, even of the ruling party. As we go down to June in 2025, you are going to see separation, heated argument, hatred, and all that. And that uh, we have been talking about even people, some people were was, was, was stopped from working. Now, this time around, you are going to see resignation. Early retirement you're going to see reshuffle you're going to see all that as people are trying to cushion their territories but because of some of these people senior people because of the evils they have done but let me tell you any evil in kenya will be exposed so i'm preparing the church of yeshua i'm preparing the nation i'm preparing the politicians for massive exposures in the nation of kenya let me tell you some documents will be brought to the light to the media and somebody will be shocked i signed this in secret how did it come to the public that is how god is doing it hallelujah so god has brought the nation into a moment of shaking all the shakeables to shape her up so the shaking is of god and it is to shape the nation up so that she can implement the agenda of god in the hour and become that which god has preordained from the beginning so the new of god in this hour uh, or in this season cannot be stopped 
the new of God. Now, when you hear God say that, there are people who are, who are going to exit. There are people who are going to exit. That is how God clears his way. He'll exit. Some of them will be silenced. You know, God will do whatever he's supposed to do as God. Because the, the new of God in the nation of Kenya, beginning September, going down one, it will not be stopped. And so we are talking to the foreigners. Anybody who will try to introduce their evil in the nation, let me tell you, the, 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 the nation of Kenya, where the nation is from September, going down was this is nobody's business. This is God at work. This is, let me tell you, as they plan whatever they are, the globalists, wherever they are planning to bring their mosquitoes and to do whatever they want to do. Let me tell you, and whatever, even if I said, even if they want to bring lions, even if they want to introduce their food. And, and, and let me tell you, Africans, let me tell you, there is no way an enemy. There is no way an enemy of you, people who think Africans are not human beings, there is no way an enemy can turn out within seconds to be, to be for our support, to be for our good. The agenda is to reduce the population in Africa. Any goody goodies that are coming, they all have quotes to reduce the massive population in Africa. Because why Africa is the agenda of God in this early time. This is where the minerals are. This is where the good weather is. This is where food is coming from. Africa will sustain other continents in this season. So there are people who know that and they want to destroy as much as they can. And the, the main agenda is to kill as many Africans as they can. But let me tell you Africans, they think they have the knowledge and they think they have the wisdom, but we have Yeshua. <laughs> Hallelujah. So listen, but be very, very careful. And I'm talking to governments in Africa. You cannot just coup. Let me tell you, God will clear you from the way. And your life to your fourth generation will be history. Let me tell you, any, any, the CSAs and anybody who is in any position, don't think you can just twi um, twist things and you get small hard doubts and, and you sell the inheritance of, of the continent of a nation in Africa. Let me tell you, the finger of God is on your case. You are going to be so scared. Hallelujah. So, um, uh, beginning, uh, you know, God is also, um, uh, you know, restoring back or bringing back all whatever has been scattered. And what you're going to begin seeing is even Africans who are in other nations beginning to come back home, beginning to come back because the peace and the sorrows and the comfort that they need is not now, now out there anymore. It is going to be in the continent. Hallelujah. So there's a, a going to be a much restoration, even fads, even businesses that some people invested out there. People are now going to look uh, to look and come back home hallelujah now even and i'm telling you there are some banks which will be closed and some people bring their way or the back home that's how god is doing it so the season will either make you this season will either make you or break you the season because it is purely the deal of god it will either make you or break you now god is clearing way for his purpose so that his purpose can prevail in the nation of kenya so god is clearing the way so anything that they'll bring in your office and bring anywhere, kindly sit back and ask God, what is your purpose here? So pursue the purpose of God. Pursue the purpose of God. As they do whatever they are doing, pursue the purpose of God. And let me tell you, there are people who try to do things in the nation of Kenya. I initially, it was easy for them. This time around, the nation is going to be too hot for the wicked to prevail. And nobody will fight them because now they are facing the God of the nation of Kenya, the God of our nation, who is the God of the nation of Kenya. Hallelujah. The nation of Kenya has a father, our father in heaven. Hallelujah. In the name of Yeshua. So God is clearing away for his purpose and the purpose of God must be must prevail in this hour. So the Lord is, was asking, who can start against me? Who can start against the Lord? No human being, no authority has any power to start against the Lord. Nobody can start against him. Now God knows how to position and this time around he has been preparing our people and uh, you have not seen young people in the nation of kenya you are about to see you saw the Gen Z's. you are about to see as they gun up and come up with their political parties and they are going to by the way they are the majority you're going to see even they cannot be bright even if you people bribed one two three the army that god has raised in the secret they cannot be stopped they cannot be bright so the young people are coming back again you're going to see and let me tell you i was preparing the church the people who gathered with me yesterday we are going even to see a, to see a change we are going to see referendums we are going to see change in the constitution we are going to see the nation of kenya delivered by the arm of the lord but then through the operation of men hallelujah we are going to see that because the lord is working things out for his own glory in the name of the lord hallelujah so god is clearing way for his purposes in the nation and uh, the lord nobody can really start nobody can start against him nobody can start against him now god is now positioning 
them that he has prepared them that he has chosen it is him who is positioning them that he has chosen and he trained in the secret god trained moses in secret hallelujah god is dealing with moses god is dealing with the joseph it is him who is training them joseph did not go to school to become a prime minister the moses did not go to any human school to become a deliverer it is god who is who has chosen who to use where this is not the orchestration of men. This is God's positioning. So he has chosen vessels and he has trained them. He has also empowered them and he has given them authority. Ramazi Kayangorobozia. You have not seen us yet. <laughs> we are coming <laughs> so god has you know god has prepared them he has chosen he has trained he has empowered he has given authority hallelujah and what you are going to see is a fearless a fearless army a fearless people people speaking with authority you look at your body their bodies and you look at their sizes it is not matching what is coming out of them hallelujah my god when you hear god say we have entered into a season of the supernatural let me tell you my goodness hallelujah you try to misbehave you are cleared from the way by the word of somebody's mouth you are cleared from the way hallelujah some of them will become bright you know yesterday the spirit of god was reminding me a story of elisha you remember the the enemies of the children of people who had come even to come against the man of god hallelujah and, and uh, you remember he, he just released brightness to them and he handed over to the king of the day that is god for you hallelujah so we are going to see the supernatural uh, as god is instructing us for his own glory in the name of jesus so there is nothing to fear it's just a moment to be aligned to the purpose of god in the name of the lord hallelujah so our souls our hearts uh, will be moved by the spirit anywhere god wants to use you we shall be moved by the spirit when we read the word of god we hear and somebody was moved by the spirit i was moved by the spirit so we are back there we shall be moved by the spirit we shall be moved by the spirit ha huh? what an exciting moment hallelujah remnants of god's people in the nation of kenya even in governance we shall be moved by the spirit but let me tell you a time is coming and it is not far from now you know the authorities of the nation will be looking for the counsel of believers you know the apostles and the prophets you know there'll be such a council in this nation people who will be giving wisdom of the spirit of god to the to the as, as directives to the nation hallelujah you wait and see god is taking us there hallelujah there'll be uh, you know there'll be whatever the council of the prophets and apostles not those who are going for brown envelopes these ones cannot be bright these ones are not for 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 gifts we know the time to take the gifts and we know where not to take the gifts because why where the nation is going from this september even the authorities even the current president he will need a different voice he will need the right voice in his life otherwise it's gone i told you the other time i think it was in july it's going to be very difficult you know there are now people who are showing him all is well mr president <laughs> It is not well. There are sins that came in, in into the nation through your government, LGBTQ and all those things. God is not happy. All is not well. All is not well. And any other thing that has been around to the nation. Mr. President, there is too much corruption in the nation. Too much. Too much. Too much corruption in this country. Too much corruption. That, that has never been there before. It is so scary in some quarters. Now listen to this. And I want to make a warning to those brethren and to those people who call themselves Christians in any government office. You people, take the hard outs. Take the hard outs. And just remember, this time God is avenging for the nation and God is serving justice. Let me tell you, some of you will, be, will become sick straight You'll be confined in your houses. Your money will not help you and nobody will help you. So let everybody in the nation of Kenya fear God because the days are here. It is about God and the nation. Hallelujah. So our hearts will be moved by the Spirit of God and we shall do according to His purposes and live according to the purposes of God. So we are taking the yoke of the Lord. It is easy and His commands are not cumbersome in our generation. So we are headed to that juncture where the only, uh, you know, the, the, the only reliable help of mankind will be God. That is where we are headed to. Where the only reliable help of mankind will be God, the God of our creation. I'm not talking about God. I'm talking about God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. That is where we are headed to. 
So even authorities, they will look and they'll turn their eyes and go. That's why I'm saying the true prophets and apostles in the nation of Kenya will be sought after. And I'm hearing the Spirit of God say it will be like the Nicodemus case. And Nicodemus is seeking for Yeshua at night. That is where we are headed to. There will be, you know, you know, remember the disguising of Saul as he went to seek for help. That is where we are right now. Hallelujah. Because whatever is surrounding them and even the whatever seems to be interceding, it will not work anymore because there's a lot of counterfeit and a lot of evil covered up in the, in the name of the Lord. People who have even covenanted themselves to demonic altars and they seem to be, you know, to be, to be praying for the nation or to be giving counsel. Now, God is bringing down those towers also. Hallelujah. It is him. So God is causing the restoration of family values in the nation of Kenya. God is causing the restoration of family values. Marriages will be honored. Marriage institution will be honored. God is causing the restoration of that by the grace of God in the Lord. Hallelujah. And beginning Kenya, it will go to the world because it, the nation must go back to the originality of the purpose of God in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, anything that is raising, that is meant to stand in the gap of God's purpose or God's glory. Hallelujah. God is clearing that. God will be represented and his kingdom will be represented by his choice. Hallelujah. Not man's choice, but by God's choice. And I hear the Lord say, I'm facing out what has been a counterfeit, what has been known as church in the nation, and it, it is compromise. It is a counterfeit. God is facing it out. Let me tell you, uh, as we are talking about the, 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 the authorities, the politicians, also the church of Christ, let me tell you, the judgment is beginning from the house of God. You have not seen what you are about to do. I mean, to see. In all the, in all the years of the nation of Kenya, you are not just, you are not, you, are, you have never seen what you are about to see from this September, God will clear this side and clear this side, and mercifully He will touch the church because why? When the church is healed, the nation is healed. When the church is in order, the nation is in order. Hallelujah! By the grace of God, so the nation of Kenya will have a beginning of her beginning from this September going downwards. The nation is attaining the beginning of her beginning in the purpose of God. Hallelujah! And it is purely the operation of God. It is purely the operation of God. Hallelujah! So uh, the church uh, has been having some sickness here and there. That's why you see when the religious leaders are called, some people representing the church appear there. I, I want to say our faith in the Lord Yeshua is not is not an religion. We are not religious leaders, and we are not in a religion. What we believe is not religion, and so we are not religion religious people. Hallelujah! The faith in Yeshua is not another religion. We are not religious leaders. We are the sons of God. So when you call religious leaders, Leaders, we cannot appear. They appear because they are religious leaders, and this is and that. That's why yesterday in the morning I told you, religion has really messed up the destiny of the nation of Kenya. But God is merciful. By His mercies, He has come to rescue the destiny of Kenya according to His purposes in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to leave that word there. I've given you the summary. We shall keep on talking as the Lord is giving us utterance by the grace of God. God bless you.